this, this may be a long-term event for us, and, and we're having to tell our folks, don't drink it, don't get in it, don't you know, test your wells, and do all this stuff. And uh, I, I just, I'm trying to show you or point out the, the impact that this has on everybody. And uh, we've got a lot of, we've invested a lot, of and I'll just point it out there and clap that we would hopefully, we would expect to see about Austin to assist us in recouping some of the costs we've had to incur to uh, monitor our, and help our citizens. So just put that as an ask, and uh, we'll go from there. About the personal costs, people who have to buy water because they can't drink water on the river. Yes, the compensation for that at all? Anything in plan? I'm not picking on you guys, I'm not here to 
you know, show out or anything. I'm just speaking the truth. This is where we are. This is the reality of it. Uh, it's time for something to be done. Accountability. I know mean, you guys invest a lot of money into this thing. Uh, so I can probably just three guys or two guys sit next to me. I'm <coughs> here as much as I can. And, and it's just, it's never easy. I've had 30 years, 32 years in the uh, doing the same thing. Uh, up and trying to hold them accountable for what I do for a living. I'm you know, a radio station. I followed this since out nine in the flood and, and crumbled the <coughs> infrastructure. Um, to this point today, <laughs> being kept informed all along the way, being one of the people on the release, and being one of the city's official release, my demand. I couldn't be more impressed with the effort I just went through this transition over the last two and a half weeks to Martin Head meetings with every single person. And every single one right now, the person that will tell you that I asked this question. Can I walk this earth? Can I walk into that meeting and assure these people that we're doing everything we could possibly do? Now, I have suggested as we get these new updated meter reading, electronic meter readers, that we don't need people to walk the streets anymore, that I want them to walk the 125 crossings we have over waterways with our sewer system. That I want them to put eyes on it as well. That I didn't want this job if we didn't pass FLOSS and I couldn't commit $40 million to the further improvements on the system because I can't come up with $40 million over the next four years to keep our promise to you guys and the aggressive timeline that we're on in repairs of this. That uh, I can't be simply open. I do have a <coughs> get parking trouble a little, we kind of done a little before we got approval because we wanted to start that process and now we officially have an approval and that 10 million gallon catch basin will assure us that, uh, that nothing. We're two miles from the river now and that catch basin will assure us nothing you near know, that river at the treatment plant on the wrong angles. We continue to rehab on those for, for probably the next decade, you know that. You know how many there are, you know what we're doing. Additional signage is a great idea as well, John. Um, you want me to hop off the bridge? I'll just leave one well, of them. I know, but I want you to, to come back to us all that have decontaminated wells, which is the Bennett Boomer, and say that the city of Del Dawson is going to support the effort to reimburse us for the well decontamination. So I'm in four wells. But these folks all live where I am, and they're all going to have to have wells that need decontaminated. It's not a trivial process. Yeah. That slide had wanted to address a few minutes ago to expound a little on what Rick Davis had said. We refer to ourselves in Madison County probably <coughs> as fiscally constrained, but in reality we are poor. Our, that just means we're poor, and you know that. Uh, our residents, most of them, don't have the money to pay for the water filtration systems. We had people today who spoke in Madison. They pay anywhere from forty-five hundred to six thousand and above just to get the initial system. That doesn't include replacing the different parts that have to be replaced yearly or however often they would need to. When you start talking about buying water and uh, it's costing our county right now several thousand just to do the testing for the people because of course we're doing it for free. So for them, because they shouldn't have to pay for it. But when you look at all the different areas that the people have to try to cover to make sure that they're not using contaminated water, a lot of them don't have the money for it. And because of that, truthfully, a lot of them who have lived close to the river for many, many years, they don't bother. And we don't know what they may at times deal with as a result of the water. But they know they don't have the money. They've always been there, or they've been there for a number of years, and they, they say another spill, and they just don't bother. But the bottom line, and I think with most things, the bottom line just comes down to money, and it hits a lot of our residents very hard along that area. I have a question. I, as far as accountability goes, when these spills happen, are you, is anybody fined? I mean, it seems like is there anything I'm like you just spilled X amount of raw sewage? Does the EPA find the city? Is there any kind of the EPA, EPA can find the city? But that is not like 
It's not automatic. It's not automatic or is it based on the gallon or whatever it is, but they, they do have that authority to, to um, Have they? Uh, have they ever? I've been here, I've been sitting there for two years. Um, since I've been here two years, no, that we've not had We've been going on for a long time. Before we're 09 had been happening, so we're, we're, under, we're under the similar. Um, still on the jump with us uh, with uh, DPD. Uh, but um, as far as I can remember back, I don't think you've had a fine. They, you know, what they've done in lieu of fines is they added more projects to keep the problem from happening. They, they'll, they'll do that many times rather than a dollar value. They'll add more projects to the consent order. How will the notification system change? Notifying, notifying us downstream. And the reason I ask, a year or two ago, my, oh yeah, we have one place in North Carolina, my lab's playing around the water. We kayak a lot, Scott, like you do. And, Enjoy the water, get the truck, I'll have a text from a local official, stay out of the river. The spill had happened four or five days prior. We just found out that day. And I've been in the river playing in my lab and having a good time on the Wisconsin River. How will the notification system change to guarantee that everyone, even those who don't have email and internet access on the river, know about these spills? Because that, to me, is criminal, criminal neglect because you're endangering their lives. I mean, because you're in that water, animals are in that water, their farm animals are in that water, and no one knows. I don't about those three alerts in Florida. The first one was put out on the 10th when all anybody knew was there was spill. Okay, better safe than sorry. The second one was put out when, as I understand it correctly, Valdosta found an elevated bacterial level at US 84. 
which I believe <coughs> we heard earlier is right next to the state line. Uh, does anyone in Dallas know how many river miles from US 84 to the state line? Uh, 27, or about three days. And is anybody measuring at the intermediate boat ramps to see how the sewage is moving down the river? Valdosta, for example, is Valdosta doing that? No. We have uh, an answer from Tom Murdy of Swanee River Water Management District. We have done that, yeah. As you know. <coughs> Did you do it at Knight's Ferry in Maine? We haven't done it consistently, but we have done it. When a still, you know, when a, when a location popped up, at, you know, either at 84 or at 31, and we looked upstream and downstream in conjunction with DOH and DEP on specific days. Yeah, on specific days. And we did a site. We did a Okay, and with the nice here in Nagy and U.S. 84 and state line, but Valdosta has not. Valdosta has basically flushed its sewage down the river. No, no, sir. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. When I just, just like the gentleman here said, when we got that hot spot at Mike's Creek, we went down there. And we took our crew down there. They took samples. They did the lab work. We took it to a lab in Thomasville where the other folks were going to say, oh, they're just making the numbers up. The numbers that you were posted on your Facebook were much higher than the independent lab and our own folks said. So I really can't let you stand there and not say we haven't been out there doing it. And you ever returned that data in response to the open records request I fired a week ago? I will have to talk to the city clerk about that. You can file it with me, sir. I asked you in your office earlier. And I gave you all the data. You asked me for the data every 